It has been nine full moons. We have hunted it to the north and along the eastern border. Eight of the king's most honorable men have given their lives during this quest. Their bodies so mangled they'll barely be accepted to the heavens. It's coming. I feel the thunder of its wings. The air grows hotter. We cannot take another loss. Now is the time to end this. Steal yourself, men. Stay in formation. Where is it? It's playing games with us. Steady yourself, Richard. This infernal beast demise has eluded us for too long. I am ready for you! Stay in rank! I will even the score! Enough, James! Here it comes! You have a death wish. Huh? Not yet. Wait until it exposes its weak spot. Now! Ah! Defensive positions! That was a foolish move. He knew better than that. He's heading back to the west. And so shall we. Do you think the dragon will return to the kingdom? We have chased it from one side of our land to the next. It has ravaged our numbers, like it just us. How can just three knights slay that beast? And what of the kingdom? The king's army will protect the kingdom. And who will lead the army if none of us are left to lead them? We're not irreplaceable, my old friend. Our numbers may have dwindled, but we tested it. We found its weakness, and we could have beaten it today if only the James hadn't broken the rank. But he did. His courage and desire to protect his brothers led him to his death. But we can have such luck. With honor. With honor.
that you? For a man who writes such beautiful poetry, Thomas, you really appreciate the beauty that's all around you. I do appreciate beauty. To fight with such heroism is a thing of beauty, Thomas. You do that every day. And you're saying I'm a thing of beauty, George? You're a brother in arms. Let us leave it at that. So, today? Ah, today. Today we shall do battle under the glorious king's name and we shall slay that beast and turn everything right in this kingdom. The key to killing a beast is down to its wise and wherefores. This one eludes me. It's just a dragon, Thomas. It doesn't know any wise or wherefores. You don't know that. It just killed. <clears throat> so do we. But something has changed in this dragon. Her violence wasn't always her folly. Something made her attack the castle. Nowhere else in our kingdom, nor in our neighbors' kingdoms. I've chased down many beasts before this one. And every one of them gave up their secrets before they died. Not all of your women were beasts, Thomas. <laughs> but each one of them gave up their secrets. That's for sure. But this dragon, it was a peaceful sort before all of this. They stayed away from populated areas. And now it seems this particular one wants a bite out of the powerful king and the kingdom itself. You know, I admire it. I admire it for evading death. I mean, there aren't many dragons, and all they have are adversaries. Surely its strength and its will to survive will fade, and solitude will kill it for us. It will survive alone, until in battle it dies alone. That is the king's orders. We must make haste. We have a quest to fulfill, and we are down to just three. You're keen to do battle, George. Keen to keep order, and that means battle. You remind me of when you were a child. <laughs> Always the first to battle, and always against the bigger boys. They were trying to steal your mother's bread. Ah, you nearly killed the poor wretches. You have my back. How could I not? Do you ever think of the kingdom? Not as much as I used to from whence we began these adventures. The king's orders will take us on a righteous path. Be quick at the water. I'll ready the horses. Tired old friend. It's nearly over. And you miss her too, eh?
What happened? Water demons. You? White Wolf. How do you escape? I haven't seen archers in the woods somewhere. Arrows erupted from the forest, killing the beasts. Let's move. This is dark magic, George. The darkest. Put yourself together, Thomas. We'll soon be behind the safety of the castle walls. This, this I fear penetrates even the castle walls. George, this is deeper. This we should have fear of. It's taunting us. It's just a dragon, Thomas. It knows nothing of taunting. It does. It's drawing us out for the final blow. Then let us not disappoint it. If the dragon is headed home, it bodes well for us. We can get reinforcements. If not, we continue until King Zalvador's wishes are fulfilled and the dragon is slain. While it is here fighting us, it is not besieging the castle and killing our people. Trust me, both of you. We will be home soon enough. It's been many months. We're down to three. We could have picked up reinforcements along the way. Plenty of folk willing to join us. Gather your things. There's not many who could say that and still be standing. Kedlidge village is up ahead. There we rest for the night. George. Careful. He has a madness. A funny evening of ale. And bar fights by the looks of things. Leprosy. Some kind of sickness. Seek religious counsel. Many gods and their servants will tend to you. I'll have some of what he's been having. We need rest for the night. They're not locals. We should be cautious. I am George de Thaldus, King Salvador's royal... King Salvador's royal warriors. Guards, please. Warm yourselves. These are the king's royal warriors. And maybe the sun will rise again. Or maybe not. <laughs> please sit. I'll bring you whatever you wish. Wine. And four jugs of beer. Please. Luanda, take these drinks and, uh... Warm these gentlemen. Never trust anyone, do you? Hey? Oi. Bryce, I'm telling you, don't you start in my bar. They're the king's men. Yeah. Same for you and all. It's calling cool, yeah? Your boyfriend. I'm warning you. Who is the gentleman who speaks with such hostility? Oh, he's just an untrusted sort. It's nothing. What's his name? I don't remember. They ask of his name. Bryce Jefferson. Now, please. You know any of my thoughts about going home, George? Seems we're so close. 
he was one to hang. Oh yes, your mystery lady friend. What was her name? Never you mind. The stable girl, that's it. It's been a long time. We'll return home when the beast is slain. If the dragon does head to the castle, then so shall we. Not before. To our fallen. With honor. honor. Four of your best. And a room for the night. Katoris. That strange kingdom. Female warriors, huh? Now, of caution, my friend. Be careful, or they'll have your tongue. Oh, they'll have it all right. with us. We're fine here. But you may take a seat at our table. Here we go again. You're from Katori, right? We are. What are you doing in the king's land? He's your king, not ours. But it's still his land. We're not here to spy, if that's what concerns you. We're just passing through. My name is Demir. Throwina, Katia, Isabel. And you are George and Richard of the King Salvador's warriors, are you not? And you are? Thomas. So you're not here to spy. You're very well informed. Your reputation precedes you. Wait, how come mine doesn't? <laughs> you said you were passing through. Where to? I'm sure you know already. Sir George. Maybe. Humor me. We're traveling to the southern border of the Attian Kingdom. You're not going to start a war, are you? No. Simply to close a matter sensitive to the Katori people. You're going to seek revenge on the Attian soldiers? It is what is right. I trust your silence will be ensured. We have no war with the Katoris. Our silence is ensured. May the gods watch over you. Where were the gods when the Tain soldiers savaged that poor girl? Who were they watching over then? With every battle, I wonder more and more the intention of them. Even the existence of the gods. Hmm. For those of us who have survived too many battles, we often feel that way. We are surrounded by bloodshed and trauma, and stalked by the shadow of the death. But if you look close enough, there's beauty and wonder all around us. True enough. And whilst blood still remains inside us, it's not a time for sadness. Inkeep! <laughs> oh, more, more! <laughs> White tips. Just like at the water. How will I ever live it down, rescued by a woman? <laughs> Yeah, baby, won't you come on over when the sun is shining bright? I promise you that I'll be taking care of you an afternoon delight. Then she says, Hey, now hold your horses. I'm sure that we got time. Then I say, Hey, ho, I'm sure we do. As long as I got you. Now, no, 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 no. Can 
someone sitting over there earlier, listening to their conversations. There have been some attacks here. In this village? So they say. Who can tell? Drunk men and their stories. They call them the Fury. <laughs> the Fury. That's catchy, I guess. Maybe it's true. If the stories are real, the threat to the royal family and the people of our kingdom is greater than ever. The dragon's heading God knows where, and now this? My friend, we've been on the road for eight months. You need a rest as much as I do. It's just a few hours to sun. The attacks mainly happen at night. Shut us through the night would be nice. You spy on us, girl. So you want to know about the fury? That's right. They exist. Wretched, deformed, furious. And how do you know all this? I've seen them. Well, in the shadows. Skulking through the darkness. And where was this? Northern Territory. Three weeks ago. I rode off as fast as I could. How brave. You questioning me, woman. Well, everyone just calm down! Under the command of the King's Royal Guard, you will all stand down immediately. These visitors are our allies. There will be no more of this. That's it. We're closed for the night. Go home. Go on, all of you. Barkeep, I trust you'll have rooms for us to rest our heads. Certainly, sir. The knights and their allies are always welcome. Thank you. Get some rest. We leave at dawn. A bit longer, my love. Restful night, I'm dreaming of warrior women. <laughs> you look rough, old friend. I feel like I've had a barrel of Galderian wine last night. <laughs> you did. Now we're all here. We're no longer only chasing dragons to stay. We have to push hard through the Scarlet's Forest if we want to make it to the castle by morrow. And what if we do encounter these fury en route? And we slay them as we would any other threat. Once we were 12, now we're only three. I know. Look, we just have to make it to the castle. There'll be an entire battalion of soldiers ready to protect the people of our kingdom. We all have loved ones there, do we not? We do. And what of Katori women? I assume they left at sunrise, eager to reach their mark and return to their borders. We need to be cautious, my friends. There are dark powers at play. That there are, brother. That there are.
In days of old, when knights were bold and the world was flat as parchment, we'd walk around and not fall down because... Your Highness, Prince Elizabeth. Your Highness, Princess Elizabeth. If you please, mm -hmm. enough. Continue. The news I bring may not be for a lady's ears. Her ears have endured far worse than any news you can bring, Nicholas. As of my eyes. Very well, Your Highness, Prince Fabian. Last night we had a breach at the village boundary from the east. Three of them. They're getting closer. What would Father have us do? My Lord? For goodness sake, Fabian. I'm not the king. I say we wait for Father's order as to what to do about this fury disease. Sir, your father bestowed upon you a great battalion of men to protect this region, but you have them scattered in small groups. Forgive me, my lord, but I feel our soldiers are ineffective in this way. We are losing men to unseen... I am happy with our current strategy. Your troops will send movements of this fury, but only to me. But my lord, I feel we... Ah, uh, thank you, Nicholas. You are right. No amount of fury, blood, or any other plague can match what sears my eyes and haunts my ears within these walls. Do not spread the word, darling. We don't want these peasants clambering inside the castle walls, now do we? Our father would have already had them inside if he had known. <laughs> you have the same weakness as father, Elizabeth, cursed with misguided compassion. Yet yeah, little shown to your dearest brother. Now tell me, how long before they reach us? They are already at the village. What do you think about these rumours of furious beasts? There is fear in the air. There's much talk, strange things stalking the shadows. We've been to the farthest reaches of the kingdom. We haven't seen anything. They're merely rumours. There will be proof there's nothing more. These rumours are of the dead walking. These rumours are of the dead fighting with unquenchable thirst. They're too prolific for us to ignore. The dead? Ridiculous. Yes. But in the village they spoke of bodies stripped to the bone as if ravaged by animals. And many missing entirely. Where? The Katori women said in the Gelder Valley. Where the fast river comes down from the mountain. Come on, these are just stories of the dead. Utter nonsense. Or we shouldn't waste our time discussing it. The legend says they were dead. Now they're not. Now there's something else. things over there. <laughs> well, that one got away. Are you sure hunting is your forte, Bryce? I'm the village's best hunter. Maybe the lance. Well, 
From what I hear, you were bested by a woman at the tavern. I was not. Anyway, there was four of them. Ooh, now this gets interesting. So, you were beaten by a girl. Uh, four girls. They were Katori's, Millie. Yeah. I was the friend in our honor. Our village is on. They attacked all of us. And there was three royal knights. They didn't just attack me. They attacked all of us. Oh yes. I heard some of the king's men were in town. There's nothing better than a knight. Don't you think? Men of honor. Us townsmen, we're honourable too. We look after the people in the villages, towns. Anyway, this is why we're here. To learn how to hunt. How to kill. You really think those stories are real? Are they not the words of those seeking to strike fear into our hearts? Listen to me, Millie. They're all real. And that is why we're here. I don't know how many of them there are. What's going on? They've come from them. But that's why I need you to be ready. Why else have you come? Not me. You. Aim for the heart. Right beneath the shoulder. What if I don't kill it? I finish it. Just make sure you get a good strike. I don't think I can kill something. That's exactly why we're here. You need to learn how to take a life. How to survive what is coming. I'll go west. I'll finish it if you don't get a clean kill. You've got the spear. So make it count. Everything all right, Thomas? I'm good. You just worry about your own health. I've warned you before. Waking up with a sore head from male is better than getting something from women like that. <laughs> Did she tell you that she loves you? Love is the poison chalice of my life. Heartbreak sits at the bottom of the cup. And you never can resist that last sip, can you? No, sir, I could not. <laughs> <laughs> you still blame all your misfortunes on women. And you never thought someone could understand you. You got me an antidote? An antidote? I've seen your antidote. You've slept with a different woman in every single village we've ever visited. <laughs> I don't think that's really working for him. Nope. All right. You should get me an antidote for this. We better all get some rest. We can let him sleep it off. Don't you worry about me. Keep your eyes open for those fury things. 
I'll take first watch. Richard, you rest still. I'll take the first. I'm fine, it's okay. It's an order. Rest well. You're a good man, George. You're a good man. No. Stand down. Do not become my enemy, brother. You're delirious. Have you been poisoned? Wake up. This is dark magic. Thomas, wake up! What am I doing? Brother. Brother. Yes, brother. You were sleepwalking again. Only this time fighting as well. For the love of God, Thomas, you almost killed me in my sleep. I did? I'm sorry, I didn't. I mean, I had no... Just then, when you were asleep, what were you dreaming of? I don't know. I woke up to see his blade pointing at me. Come on, man, think. A rush of things. Violence for the most of it. But I dream about violence most nights. This is why your nights are so disturbed. You have to come to peace with the things we see. It was different. I felt anger. I often see violence, but I never feel anger in life. I don't carry hatred. I know we all serve a purpose, regardless of who we hurt. There's always belief in what we do. We all believe that what we're doing is right. So I can't hate even enemies. But this time, Real anger coursed through my veins. Hatred. I think you've been poisoned. Maybe the Katoni women weren't as friendly as we first thought. Maybe all this talk of creatures and fury was about distracting us from their true intentions. Maybe they were of poisonous intent. But the story of the fury came from the villagers. It's past. Whatever was in my blood is past, George. I feel fine. Come on. I'll keep this, just for now. I haven't seen that dragon for a while. Do you think he's reached the castle already? I pray that it hasn't. It's the final push. You gonna make it? Something's wrong. There's a dark magic in the air. Let's move. for the people is why father favors you to replace him yet his wisdom doesn't seem to understand people are not as important as their leaders there are no leaders without people you fool 
<laughs> Dare to call me a fool again, sister, and I will punish you in ways that your mind does not comprehend. I am the firstborn, the son of the king, and I alone call this king upon our father's party. You better get used to serving me, sister. Always can you see fit. Come, Nicholas. We have work to do. Go in on foot and with caution. What's happened here? Where are the villagers? Where are the soldiers? Dragon have done this. There'll be more damage. Maybe the villagers fled to the safety of the castle. Whatever happened here, our priority is the royal family. Let's get out of here before something bad happens. I guess the stories were true then. Looks like we're heading for a pretty good fight. When have we not? This is just another day. Take them.
You gotta get your feet, old friend. Come on. We can't carry you around to fight. I am fit to fight, my friend. Nothing can stop me. What of the horses? Can't go back. Curious. They're just beasts. Hard to kill. How far has this fury spread? Richard, get him up. I'm fine. Come on, on your feet, Thomas. Saved you again. It's becoming a habit. Yeah, it is. What are you doing here? You said you were going to the border. We were overrun by these fury. They've cut us off. They're coming from all directions. They're everywhere. Watch out! A little more even. A little. Is he hurt bad? He's losing blood. He's weak. Who are you calling weak? <laughs> you haven't lost your pride with your blood, then? No. Nope. Get me up. <clears throat> you okay? In much pain? Ask again and I'll show you much pain. Fair enough. How'd you do that? It's a long story. How far is it to your castle? A mile or so. May I ask that we... Yeah. Of course. You see shelter in the castle boundaries. You better take all the weapons away from them like you took mine. Contrast. Ignore him. It's a long story. I've never seen anything like this before. All right. We have traveled and fought in every region of this kingdom. Never like this. I was supposed to meet a contact in the Rattan Township, but it was decimated. 
bodies everywhere. Like they were ripped from limb to limb. The surrounding towns were deserted and that's when we started to see them. We hadn't really seen them and we were starting to think the stories were just stories. Then we got to our village and well, they're no myth. Look, I really appreciate you taking us in. Foreign warriors inside the castle walls. These are strange times. I think both our peoples will need allies. One step at a time. Defensive positions over him. Move! Will you get inside the castle? No arguments from me. Is he alive? Yes. Conscious? Barely. Thank the gods. Where's Isabel? She's full. We need to get him up. Sir, we must make haste. Prepare the horses. Where are we going? We? <laughs> We're going nowhere, sister. I am... We are going a scouting mission. Now? But, brother, why would you go out there? And you never leave the castle without an inter... Silence, woman! I'm sorry.
whilst I ride to safety. This kingdom will be overrun with a bigger army than anyone has ever seen before, more powerful and more destructive, so that all twelve kingdoms will fall at my feet. And Father will see that I destroy an entire army of his and get nothing but a royal finger whack. And my so-called father would rather have you on the throne than his own son. You are not my brother. Father needs to realize that this time requires a powerful man, not a silly little girl. I did not choose to lead Fabian. It is Father's will, and while he is still alive, he is our king. <laughs> How could you question that? Father's will, you say? You think he doesn't know about you and your knight? You think, I don't know. When I wanted you to play with me... I'm your sister, Fabian. Which is why I need an army of my own to wipe out the nayers and take a grip, to take control of this charter and rip out the hearts of those that try and deny my birthright. Even your own father? Everyone! will fill the streets and rivers with blood of anyone that chooses to oppose me. I will rule this kingdom and I will rule every kingdom! What have you done? Take that to the dungeon. Ensure it's locked away with the others. Now! And wait for me by the west gate. Now, sister, I think we should have a little chat. Okay, please. Oh. Thomas. Thomas, wait. George, this is not his fault. This is not betrayal. You just remember that. Thomas! Run! Are you sure? End him. We're the King's Knights! Open the door! But, sir, they are not our infantry. They fight with us to protect the kingdom. Obey my commands and release her. 
Never question me again, Ralph. I'm sorry, Sir George. How's your leg? Yeah, it's okay. I'm done. After this battle, I am done. I'm never fighting again. I doubt that. Where is everyone? Let me take you to the princess. Happy to be home. Everything's back to normal? Sort of. She made me wait for you. I'm worried for her safety. Your Highness! Princess! George. What happened to you? Who did this? Uh, Fabio, he's gone mad with power. Where's the king? He's in the northern castle overseeing Mother and her illness. He knows not of what goes on here. The last weeks we have been plagued by this dark force. Every messenger we have sent out has been killed. The villages are empty. I think Fabian has something to do with it. He was talking of a huge army he had raised. And there's more. Father sent you on a mission to kill the dragon that besieged the castle. I think I know why it was attacking us. Go on. Fabian had a dragon egg. He talked of more in the dungeons below. That'll explain why it's attacking the castle. They've never come this far in before. Sounds like Mother wants her eggs back. Where's Fabian? We must stop him. How did you end up with our knights? The fury have overrun most of the surrounding areas. Your men were kind enough to offer us shelter, my lady. The two of you? There were more of us. I'm sorry. We have to get the princess to safety. I'm not more important than anyone else. You are to the Zaldanian people and to the king. What is it? You're going to want to see this. My God, the beasts! That's his army. How can he create such a thing? They'll overrun us. Hold your nerve, George. They will eventually find a way in. And when they do, they'll then head to the North Castle and slaughter everyone in the Citadel. But the soldiers, the Zaldanian army... The army won't see them come in. And even if they do, these things are damn near impossible to kill. They'll slaughter every man, every woman, every child, and they won't stop until we're wiped out. We must do something to save our people. Ralph, with me. Richard, food and water for everyone else, yourself included. I'll save you some. The eggs are through there, sir. I will search for them. Bring back what you find. There's only one egg, sir. What do you plan to do? The sound of a thousand footsteps moving as one are heading towards us. I know a place we can keep the princess safe, if it pleases you. I don't think anyone will be safe unless we can stop them. How can we? Ralph, take the princess to the stables and saddle the fastest horses. I'm not leaving. Gimia, Farina, you too. And you? What will you do? We'll distract them. Not for long enough. 
You need us with you. She's right, George. If you order it, I'll stay and fight with you. But this, this is the one we run from. We need to protect the princess. The princess will be fine with me. If you need to stay, sir. I don't trust him. All right. Let's go to the horses. Yes, all of us. Let's go. Fury. Get back. Now! He's one of them. Richard, take them to the tunnels and leave now. I'll meet you by the bridge over the fast river. But George, their safety and... I, I will hear no more of this. Go. What is the egg? Leave it with me. George, please. If you love me, if you love your people, we must go. What are you doing? Staying with you. There's no need for it. I will not have you stand alone. I owe you a life debt. Then pay it to me by protecting the princess. The road will be fraught with danger. Richard cannot defend it all. As you wish. I do. Then I'll stay. Wait. I'll see if it's safe. What are you doing? Ensuring the future of our kingdom. No. This is for the kingdom. How many arrows left? I'll make them count. Hurry, Princess. These tunnels lead to safety.
How much longer do we wait? Until he gets here. We can't leave a closet behind. Any longer, we'll leave at least one. Hey, I still got some fight left in me yet. I thought you were done fighting. It's time to go. We can't. She's right. He ordered me to get you to safety. You got Wait. it. Wait. You made it! Thought you can have horses. Are you not dead yet? Uh, after you. I'm fine. I know. Are you fit to fight? Always, sir. Always. As are we. You're not going home or off on a mission? We will soon enough. But first, we'll help you get your princess to the kingdom. Your Highness, we have to get you back to the king in the safety of the Northern Castle. Your brother... I know. It's becoming clear that the dark forces ravaging our land are just the beginning. We must rally the troops and protect the people. There's a war coming. The blood of the dragon lingers, bring a mere mortal life. Rise, my fallen fury. Rise, my fallen soul. Fear the power of my command. Fear the rage and fury building up inside you. Prepare for war!